Hello and welcome to MuseumWise, a guide to London museums and beyond. My name's Paul McLean and today I'll briefly take you through a handful of highlights at the British Museum. The British Museum is my favourite place. It holds more than 8 million objects from around the world. For the world. And only about 10% are on display at any point. A bit like a giant archaeological iceberg, though quite a spectacular iceberg. Coming in through the main entrance on Great Russell Street, straight ahead of you is the Great Court. See the 1st century AD Roman youth on horseback. In the opposite corner, to the southwest, the line of Nidos from Hellenistic Turkey, circa 2nd century BC. And in the northeast corner, 11 meter high frontal and totem poles from the 19th century Pacific Northwest. From the Great Court, take the door west and you'll run into perhaps the most famous object in the museum, the Rosetta Stone. Chances are you won't actually run into it as there's almost always a crowd surrounding the display. Want a closer look? There's an accessible copy of the Rosetta Stone in the Enlightenment Gallery, located on the opposite side of the Great Court. Here you'll also find a bust of Sir Hans Sloane, who founded the British Museum in 1753. Back to the Rosetta Stone, and in the same Egyptian gallery, you can't help but notice this 19th dynasty statue of Ramesses II, which inspired Percy Shelley's poem, Ozymandias. Just off from the Egyptian gallery, you'll cross the path of these colossal ancient Assyrian Lamassu, supernatural guardians with more than their fair share of legs. Count them. Here, you're standing in front of the Nereid Monument, a tomb from 4th century BC Xanthos in what is today modern Turkey. Along from the Nereid Monument, you'll meet the Parthenon marbles in a large and dedicated space, seen by millions of people from around the world every year. Head up the Grand South Stairs. Here, you'll discover a personal favourite, the Lewis Chessmen. The Royal Gold Cup also resides here, a royal feast cup from 14th century France. Further along, you'll encounter the Sutton Hoo helmet in the medieval Europe gallery, as well as the Battersea shield from the British Iron Age. Back on the ground floor and near the east stairs is the Mexico Room, featuring a selection of the museum's Aztec collections. It tends to be quieter and darker than most rooms. Finally, if you're heading to or from the north or back entrance of the museum, don't forget to say hello to Hoa Hakananaya, the Moai, an ambassador from Easter Island. And that's it for now. If you have a VR headset, watch it again in 3D. I'm Paul McLean, and thank you for joining me.